Hey everybody, Antonio here with a review of Verdi's Nabucco, which I saw at the Terme di Caracalla. The conductor was Roberto Rizzi Brignoli. The production was done by Federico Grazzini. The sets were done by Andrea Belli. The costumes were done by Valeria Donata Batella. The choreographer was Marta Iagatti. The lights were handled by Alessandro Carletti. The videographer was Luca Scarzella. And the chorus master was Roberto Gabbiani. I was anticipating this particular production of Nabucco because not only was the cast headed by the likes of Ricardo Zanelato and Chila Boros, but also a baritone who has started to pretty much warm up to me, and he was none other than Gevorg Jacobian, who sang tonight's Nabucco. I'll gladly talk about the singers much later, but first, my thoughts on the production. I found it to be quite interesting as it mainly took place within a sort of war-torn land. The action was basically transported from ancient Babylon all the way up to, I would say, the 20th century, 21st century Babylon, where it is a war-torn land and you see people scurrying about and Abigail and her troops are searching for hostages that they can take into her kingdom so that they can become her slaves and all that stuff. And she basically starts the opera not only with her, but also with the high priest, scouring around houses, looking for hostages they can take, and basically trying to capture people who they think are against her rule, or people who might be useful as her subjects or her prisoners. Then we also have a lot of really fine moments with the Hebrew prisoners in a huge fence. And while they're singing Va Pensiero, one can definitely sense that loss and that yearning these prisoners have to go back home and be free. And I thought that the costumes looked really good on all the singers. What's quite noticeable about Abigail is that she starts off the opera wearing a black vest and pants. And in the second act, she's a bit more lax with her clothing. And in the third act, she looked especially gorgeous with a little bit of armor and that dress that she wore along with that tiara. And she just looked not only beautiful, but quite powerful as well. And in the fourth act, we see Abigail quite disheveled. And I also thought that Fenena's costumes were absolutely gorgeous as well. So it's safe to say that all the costumes were really good. So overall, with a very interesting production, and costumes which really fit the singers well. I have to say that this particular production of Nabucco passes with flying colors. And now we get to the singers, starting off with Gebor Jacobian, who sang the role of Nabucco. I have never heard about this baritone before, and as I heard him sing, I thought that he had a solid sounding, dramatic baritone voice. He just has a lot of potential in singing all of these great, grand, and heroic baritone roles thanks to that sizable voice and that virile, masculine, and simply put, strong stage presence. Yes, I'm sort of missing that round, rich, and more booming voice of voices like Gian Giacomo Guelfi, who I definitely consider to be one of my most favorite Nabucos ever, and maybe to some extent the likes of Silvano Caroli, but Gian Giacomo Guelfi's voice is definitely one I can easily identify with being one of the greatest Nabucos of all time because he just has a superb sound. And in terms of Mr. Jacobian, he also has a good sounding dramatic baritone voice for Nabucco, especially for someone who's still quite young, 
mainly in his mid-30s, and I can definitely tell that his career is blossoming into full maturity. Time will definitely tell that Mr. Hakobian will venture into all of these grander and more heroic roles, and I would love to see his career blossom further because he has a fine voice, he has a great stage presence, and he was just an overall solid performer. Then we go to Sila Boros, who sang the role of Abigail, and she had a gorgeous sounding soprano dramatico da Gilita voice. She manages to tackle the coloratura well. She manages to have this thick sound in her voice, which makes her interpretation of Abigail come alive and she was a superb singing actress. She was able to find out a little bit of that scorn, which makes Abigail interesting as a character. She was able to make her have some soft moments, and her death scene was so poignant. I could feel the anguish and that longing not to die but she feels like she has to because she's hurt too many people. And Signora Boros managed to convey that pain and beauty so wonderfully. But more than anything, her vocal assets were at their absolute prime. Yes, I would have also loved to hear her sing the high E flat during De Perdona. That would have been great. But despite that, I still have to say that her characterization, her musicianship, and everything she had to offer as Abigail, especially when it comes to her arrogance and especially to her pride and also into making her come alive as a character, I thought that Sheila Boros did a wonderful job from beginning to end. She was a performer with a lot of endurance and she showed no signs of stopping whatsoever. Erika Beretti was a lovely fenena. And unlike Sila Boros's grander, thicker sounding, dramatic coloratura soprano voice, Erika Beretti's voice is sort of a light lyric mezzo voice, which has a great potential in singing soprano. She has a lovely stage presence, and she was able to make Fenena not only a lovely, sweet, innocent girl, but she was also able to make her quite strong in her beliefs, and she was just an overall wonderful singing actress. She inhabited the role of Fenena with a lot of grace, a lot of charm, but more than anything, her vocal assets were at their absolute prime. She has a really lovely voice, which has that lightness and breeziness, but at the same time, a little bit of that fullness, which makes it have a lot of character, a lot of beauty. And I can definitely tell that with that voice, she might end up going up and up into singing some roles in the soprano repertoire. Who knows? Maybe time will tell. But for right now, Erika Beretti is an absolutely wonderful musician, and she just has a brilliant future ahead of her. And of course, her overall musicianship, her overall dedication, and her overall diligence as a singing actress were in full bloom. Then we have the grand Riccardo Zanelato, who sang the role of Zacharia. I have been following this particular Basso's career for quite some time, and he's especially well known in the Basso Cantante repertoire, mostly from the Italian, French, and to some extent Russian repertoires, with roles like Enrico from Anna Bolena, Filippo from Don Carlo, Sparfucile from Rigoletto, and a lot of other superb roles Taylor made for his voice, I knew this was a basso cantante to witness live more often. And Riccardo Zanelato certainly was a great singing actor. The way he was able to modulate his voice 
in all of those passages as Zakaria was so thrilling to listen to. He was able to modulate each and every phrase and it also showed that he had superb phrasing and superb nuances to play off of and more than anything he managed to be an involving and charismatic singing actor. He brought the role of Zakaria to life thanks to his firm sounding rich and round basso cantante voice and his stage presence was noble and strong and we also have a tenor who i have never heard of before until i heard his voice tonight and that was antonio coriano who sang the role of ismael and what a lovely voice signore coriano had it was so wonderful to listen to it had that squillo which is quite common in a lot of lirico spinto tenors. He had a handsome stage presence. He had a lot of great moments of musicality. And he certainly showed great endurance, style, stamina, and a lot of ease in this particular role. He had a charismatic and handsome stage presence and he was able to sing everything superbly from beginning to end, showing a great technique, and he was able to just phrase everything so well. We also had such wonderful singing from the likes of Alessio Cacciamini's superb sounding and strong High Priest of Baal, Ivan de Fabiani's lyrical, lovely, and handsome Abdalo, and of course Valentina Variales lyrical and beautiful sounding Anna. So overall the singing was exceptional from all across the border, not only from the likes of Gavor Jacobian, Silva Boros, Erika Beretti, Ricardo Zanalato, and Antonio Cariano, but also from the likes of Alessio Cacciamini, Ivan De Fabiani, and Valentina Variale. And the conducting done by Roberto Rizzi Brignoli was well done. It was nuanced, it was crisp, and he led the orchestra, chorus, and the singers superbly. And the orchestra and chorus of the Teatro dell'Opera Roma were quite good. So overall, with an interesting production, and great singing, not only from the likes of Signore Jacobian and Signore Zanelato, Signore Coriano, Signore Baros, and Signore Beretti, but from everyone, and especially such fine conducting by Signore Roberto Rizzi Brignoli, this production of Nabucco was an absolute thrill. And for those of you who saw Verdi's Nabucco at the Terme di Caracalla, what did you think of it? Did you feel like Gevorg Hakobian did superbly singing the title role of Nabucco? Did you feel like there was another singer who kind of stole his thunder, whether it be from the other main characters or the supporting characters? Or did you feel like there was an element that just kind of stuck out like a sore thumb? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for my final review here in Rome, which is that of Puccini's Tosca also at the Terme di Caracalla. So until then, good night everybody.